Hello and welcome people to Aguna Souls video. This one isn't a typical video, it's more of a an explanation video, should I say? Because this, you know, as it comes, you know, next month around the 12th or the 13th of April, Ramadan will start. And that for all the Muslims around the world is a month of giving. Stay tuned to just you know see why and what I'm raising money for and the reasons behind why I'm doing a month of charity to kind of raise a lot of money, as much money as we can, you know, and the difference will be filled. And hopefully we can together end, you know, and make the world a better place one step at a time. So people, welcome, you know, I am going to put the, the link to the Just Giving down below. Um, it has launched and I have got all the explanation within the sort of story section of the page. And I kind of just wanted to explain and give my reasonings to why I believe in these charities and why I believe in these sort of causes. Now, one of them is for more of the world, you know, poor countries such as Africa, Palestine, you know, uh, to Gaza, you know, to places like Pakistan, India, and, you know, Bangladesh, and, you know, your sort of third world countries. And the reason why I wanted to do this specific one rather than your generic ones um, and why fruits and why olive trees um, is because, you know, trees last hundreds of years and olive trees especially can be a source of not only just for food um, or energy, but it can also, you know, there are some medical and mesidical you know uses for olive trees as well and obviously fruits are nourishing you know they can give you a lot of vitamins and minerals and you know etc and they can feed you for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years so you know for co countries that are quite poor and deprived of resources it's some of the best things that we can do to help them move forward and that's one of the reasons why that is you know one of the causes i want to you know endorse should i say and the other one is more for local food banks in the UK because I am from Manchester, I am from the UK, you know, and I wanted to do both. I wanted to help people around the world, but also locally because millions of people around, you know, in the UK have been reported to lost their jobs in the first lockdown. Obviously, the number has increased and significantly increased. You Not only have you now got local businesses that we've known for years and, you know, for different reasons, you know, have now been sort of, you know, deprived of funding and deprived of things. They're now looking towards, you know, food banks and different sorts of charities to help them feed their children, feed themselves and keep their lights on, really. So I wanted to kind of, and, and feed banks are an all time, you know, high demand. And, you know, they are struggling. I've seen some videos online of them struggling to replenish their stock. So I thought, you know, if I've got a platform, why not use it to try at least and help raise money? And Ramadan for us is always about charity, it's always about giving, it's always about appreciating what we have and understanding that there are people less fortunate, you know, we don't just starve ourselves, you know, for somewhat of like nearly 12 to 18 hours, you know, just for the sake of doing it, we do it because it helps us appreciate and count our blessings towards what we have so i want to also you know use the platform and there's going to be a lot going on content wise you know me being a guest on shows or me even getting guests a guest on these shows and it's going to be you know over a month worth of you know hard work and you know grind to try and raise you know even if it's a little bit of money um because when we do it together then more can be done and it's about giving together and bringing communities together and that's the reason why I set it up. And they're the reasons why they're the two main causes that I want to focus on, because it's about understanding how we can help people in the long term rather than just the short term. Yes, we can give them bread, but that's only going to last them what once the bread's done, it's done. Whereas with trees and olive trees and, you know, food banks, they're going to be there for years and years and years to come. So that's the reason why I wanted to pick these sort of, you know, charities and help them out. But just to kind of like give you an understanding of the two as well. Here is my sort of GoFundMe page. Let me just zoom in for you so you can have a better read of it. So. We're raising two hundred fifty pounds to month, you know, to the month of Ramadan is upcoming, and for Muslims, it is a time of month where giving and acknowledging people, you know, less fortunate, you know, and 
you know, it, just to kind of just give you an idea of what we're raising money. We're raising money for olive trees and fruit tree projects. The benefit of olive trees and fruit trees, if properly maintained, it can be a source of food and energy and medical supplies for local communities for hundreds of years. And, and you know, for, for deprived villages and communities, because they don't have a lot of resources. So, you know, giving them food like, you know, cans and tins isn't going to be effective for the long term. So we do have to, you know, do something different. We have to understand what's going to help them for years to come rather than just for the now. So that's kind of what my thought and process is. And for the Muslims, you know, we use some a word called Sadiqai Jariya. It's, it's, you know, um, getting sort of rewarded even after your death. And, you know, it's it's like, you know, when you invest money, you know, your money works for you. We believe in our good deeds, you know, work for us when we do stuff like this because we don't have to physically be there to be receiving goods. So it's it's about bringing as many people together to raise this awareness and allow people to, you know, hopefully, you know, taking a step closer to ending world hunger. It's going to be an impossible thing to do, but it's about taking these steps. And the second thing is I wanted to help the local community as well. It's not just, you know, charity starts at home. And I am a strong believer of that as well. So that's why I want to help, like, you know, food banks across the UK, not just the Manchester food banks, depending on how much money we raise, Obviously, the more can be done and more charities will benefit because but the reason why I've done two is because I feel like when you're raising 250 pounds, is you know, my target and the difference I'm going to put in myself. So if we can raise that or I may even end up rounding it up. So we'll have to wait and see what happens, guys. It depends on your generosity as well. And um, if you can't give, share. That's what I've always said. Um, it's not always about giving, but just the ability to help and share across the platforms is also something which can benefit people. Obviously, you know, as 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 the month grows, the reason why I've started to do this now is because I want to try, you know, a week before or even maybe a week and a half or two weeks before Ramadan to try and get these charities the money or the the the, the sort of know the, the food or the cans or whatever it may be for the food banks and obviously getting the money over to you know charities to start planting trees before Eid starts so that they can start benefiting from the rewards of this hence why it started so early and there's going to be a lot more content coming on the channel so do obviously subscribe like and share that because there'll be guests coming on we will try and you know obviously get people on if they want I'm not gonna you know it's not about the promotion for me it's about you know just bringing content and bringing you you know, some value for what you're giving as well. So thank you very much for listening. And I hope that makes more sense because obviously it's hard to explain in a tweet or in a text um, why this money is being raised. So hopefully this brings a better understanding and more of a clarity to why I'm doing this. And I hope, you know, obviously with, with your help, with your um, generosity, we can do bigger and better things. You know, that's what this channel's all about. You know, if you go back and look at what I'm what I try to do, fight for equality, fight for, you know, equal opportunities. I fight for, you know, um against abuse and racism. And that's that's what I believe in. You know, it's all about understanding, you know, and being a better person. Um leave leave the world a better place is 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 something which you know I've been taught when I was young. So hopefully, you know, together we can we can make and make those steps to strive for better. But, you know, thank you very much, people, for, you know, even giving your time to listen to this. But obviously, like I said, it'll all be in the description below. So do check that out, people. And I hope, you know, you're all having a wonderful day and continue to do so. But thank you for listening. And I know this wasn't a typical Guna Souls video. They will be coming. But I just wanted to explain the reasons behind everything that I'm doing. But thank you very much, people. I hope you have a good day. This is me signing out.